Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at the form that we might get for the equation of a circle. It won't always be in standard form. Let's just write out a standard form to start with. Suppose we had something like this. Okay, great. I mean, we can see that the radius is three and the center will be one comma neg uh, negative two. Okay, and that's the center. That's nice to see from this form, but what if we weren't given this form? What if we were given something else? In fact, to see that, let's multiply this out. Now, when we're squaring, be careful. Squaring is repeated multiplication, not repeated addition. That means that it does not interact with addition or subtraction. It doesn't distribute in. You can't do anything with this across there. It, um, so um, let's think about what we can do. We're multiplying this times this. I mean, there's kind of a distribution happening in here, or maybe a foil, say, if you're familiar with that. And if you multiply this out, x times x, x squared, and then x times negative 1, negative x, and then you have another negative x put together, so negative 2x, and then negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Let's break the foil up in what we just did a little bit, because we're going to be working backwards to get here eventually, so it'd be nice to kind of investigate each step a little bit. All right, so foil can be thought of in such a way. The F of foil means first terms, F, so X and X are multiplied together. The outside means, or the O in foil means outside, that term times that term. The inside means, or the I means that times that, and last means the negative one times the negative one. So we get foil. All right, now using that terminology, let's think about the O and the I. When we square, notice that they're the exact same always. So we get a doubling. In fact, it's just this times that doubled. Look, X times negative one is negative X, then double it, negative two X. We're gonna have to work backwards from here to get up to that. And remember, there's a doubling effect. So that means, in fact, notice this, this negative one, and notice this negative two. Notice that this is twice as much as that. So if we work backwards, we just take one half of that coefficient to a negative one, and that's it. So that's it. That's, that will be a vital step when we work backwards, but let's continue. So let's multiply out this one using our technique for squaring. Namely, we're gonna take this squared, Remember, we have a middle term because we're foiling. So we can't just jump to the two squared. We have to have something in the middle here. So that's going to be double y times two. So two y doubled, which would be four y, plus four y. And then we have plus two quantity squared, which is four, and that's equal to nine. Awesome. OK. So then we can take this, and uh, maybe we can just rewrite it in any old way, like maybe like this or something. Um, and maybe we have one plus four is five. And then if we subtracted nine from both sides, we'd have a, what, a negative four on this side. So let's, what if this is what we were given? We're gonna take this and we're gonna work backwards and see a process for working backwards to get this in the next video. Thanks for watching.